Hello, this is Julie Waldorf, juliewaldorf.com, and I'm Clint Baby here. Hey, Clint. Hey. So what's the difference between good and evil? Evil. <laughs> Tell us. The what's evil? Man, what's that's good? a loaded question. Yeah, it's loaded. It's totally loaded. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's not like if you want chicken or tomato soup for dinner. You realize that, right? Um, well, come on. Spill it out. Okay. Tell us what well, you know. Good is good is a lot of times down to people's understanding, and I mean that that's a journey. I'm not gonna, I, I, I won't even profess to that I know, good as good is. I mean, though I do, but evil I do know, and oh, I think all okay. of us, I, and I think you know a lot of us know evil because of of um, one, because of well we know good because of evil, and uh, okay. I know I know in my own life, but, you know people have had shit done to them, people have been screwed, people have had just some horrible stuff done to them in their lives yeah and or just happened to them and they go why me what's going on i'm cursed um you know, well, that kind of the stuff. curse and the things that happen to you yeah. out of people yeah. doing things to you but but i don't think evil is necessarily that it, you know it's that's like sitting there going we've watched a tsunami and what looking at the the this the the stuff it causes and saying that is evil no that's that's mother nature that's, well, that's just that's the happening. That's the happening, exactly. Yeah. That's just part of life. And there's the yeah. stuff that living on this planet and being involved with the elements is just, that's the way it is. Yeah. And, uh, and, uh, and then there's a second layer to that, which has to do with us dealing with other animals. In a way, because we are a reptile, we're, we're a human animal. Uh -huh. And so, as animals, there's stuff that we have to deal with it with other species, so to speak, and other animals. So that's, that's, that's not evil either. You know, you know, somebody kicking you, even somebody shooting you, isn't necessarily evil. But it's a happening. It's a, it's again, it's kind of yeah, it's a deeper level of happening. It's just like states of consciousness or states of awareness. We look at the rock life, and then we look at the plant life, and then we look at animals, and then we look at people. Mm -hmm. But then when we talk about um, the spiritual, I think that's when we start to get into evil. Evil, yeah, yeah. good and evil. And uh -huh. what I feel evil is is evil is that which um, that which stand wants to stand back and watch the world burn yeah that's that's really when you come yeah. into that kind of personality when you're tapping into that even in yourself that you just have this cruel malevolent type of it's not even revenge because revenge is kind of animalistic but it, there's a point where it gets too much those are those horror movies we see i think that yeah. does have these elements of evil because yeah. it's like this like has nothing Jason to, or... yeah, <laughs> yeah this has nothing to do with Halloween. justice yeah yeah and, and it's that has nothing to do with you know, just chopping a person's head off or doing something quick. I mean, evil wants to evil wants to torture and torment and make things suffer because their whole existence. Because um, you would, and they feel good about it. They feel good about yeah. it, yeah. and it's not just a self satisfaction. It goes beyond that. It's just like you brought up Edgar Allan Poe, and I think he really does typify the nature of evil because if you read his characters, uh -huh. this is a man that has a grand imagination, amazing uh -huh. thought process, yeah. but yet. You could tell at the essence of this person uh -huh. that this is a man that likes to just watch the world burn. And that is what I would say is the nature of evil. Is that that which wants to just sit there and, and sit back and watch the world burn and takes a reveling type of dispositional view that yeah. like I could just watch this forever. Just like yeah. you and I the could big, look at the bad, the ugly inside, right. inside, outside and all around side. Because yeah. and, and sometimes we confuse that because it's like there's you know like I grew up in North London and there's there you know now they're called goths. But uh -huh. the thing is I don't think those people are necessarily evil and I don't think they they're really involved with evil per se. They're they're more involved with what I would call catharsis and what psychologists would call uh -huh. called yeah. cathartic. They're trying it's a to. Study. It's a study. It's, yeah. it, they're getting something out. It's like yeah. I, I uh, sold video games at a retail store, a Best Buy, for mm -hmm. a year. And uh -huh. so one of my little classes I taught the, the salespeople was, you know, we we're talking about violence in video games. And of course, a lot of parents are like, oh, don't, don't have your kids play violent video games. I'm like, what would you rather do? Would you rather them be out in the streets and hacking each other up? Do you like that better? <laughs> You know, I personally would rather them hacking up stuff on TV, uh, on, on something, on a game, and uh -huh. then, okay, good, I got it out of myself. Now they can go be nice to their brother and sister and go eat a bagel, or, you know, and get on with their life. But it's just like, so there's things that are cathartic, and I think something's evil, 
like these slasher movies and stuff can be cathartic, yeah. but it is a very dangerous line between yeah. what is cathartic and what is where you start reveling in or watching the world, just getting into watching the world burn. Yeah. And then that's where it, that's it done right bad. Yeah, that's when you get yeah. into that. And it's just like, and a lot of people don't understand that because they're on a different course in well, their most life. Most people are very good, I think. Most people are good. And then you got your dab of evil out there that you got to watch out. Just got to determine who is who. Yeah, I would say I, that would be correct as long as we count in the whole Mother Nature thing and the animal thing. And the that happening we, thing. And the happening thing yeah. that we, we call evil as well. As yeah. long as you say, you lump those in and you say, okay, basic, people are basically good, but they got this they got this animalistic thing that they want to rip everybody's hearts out sometimes when they get their foot stubbed on or when somebody takes away their car or their house. They're just spoiled. <laughs> right. See, you're getting the understanding. Yeah, yeah. yeah I you got get, that. Yeah. It, it, well, and, but we call that evil. But, but Hitler, like, Hitler was evil. Yeah. Yeah, Hitler was evil. And who else? Who is the most evil pers person we've had lately? I think Barney. Had, I mean, Barney. that was that dinosaur, man. I don't know. He was just too damn happy. I like Barney. <laughs> no, I love you. You love me. I it's like all strange Barney. androgyny. No. Yes. Oh my God. Barney was I great. did my Barney duty and I'm done. <laughs> so done with that guy. I like Barney. Oh my gosh. No. I don't know why Again, Barney got I, such a bad rap. I, 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 thought, <laughs> I thought Lawrence Welk was bad enough, but then Barney came along Barney and was created great. a whole different level of evil. No, I mean, Barney was good. Evil. Good Barney was good. All right, all right, we're done. Ah. We're done. Julie Waldorf, Julie Waldorf.